We kayak hangers have hardly any option to install any protection against the wind, sun or rain. This video is about the Versabrella from Sportbrella. I'll tell you what it can and what it can't do. First some basic information. The umbrella is made of 100% polyester with a UPF of 50 plus, which means 99.5% of the UV rays are filtered out. It comes in several colours, but red and blue are quite popular. It comes in two sizes. The smaller one weighs 0.85 kilos and the larger one weighs 1.8 kilos. I have the small umbrella which is 100 centimeters wide and 97 centimeters long. The larger umbrella is 111.8 centimeters long and 111.8 centimeters wide. The umbrella isn't round, more of an oval shape and the smaller umbrella is 92 by 8 by 8 centimeters when collapsed and stored in its carrying bag for transporting. At the base is a universal clamp that can be attached to a circular or square section tubing or whatever you want to attach it to. It's adjustable via two fixed position joints and a rotary joint enabling you to put it just about wherever you like. The trickiest thing is probably finding a suitable mounting location on your kayak. I attach mine to my outrigger bar which has a diameter of 3cm and I have to say that the clamp was not really tight. I've recently tried it on another bar, albeit slightly slimmer, and here too I couldn't get it really tight. It wasn't really a big problem because I can fix it to my seat with a, with a velcro fixing. So now the practical test, is it any use when you're on the water? I have to say if it's really hot, it's really good. It's mounted in a few seconds and depending on where your kayak is, it provides good shade. I fish unanchored as I move around quite a lot and as a result of this sometimes I have more shade, sometimes less. But generally it's much more pleasant with the umbrella than it is without it. If you're wondering why I don't have the larger version, it's simply because an umbrella like this will work a little bit like a sail. So depending on the wind and the fact that I fish unanchored, you can find yourself moving away from your desired position quite quickly. If you fish in an anchored position, the larger model is probably better. I don't find my umbrella to be in the way when I'm casting either, but um, the, uh, it does catch the wind quite easily. And for this reason, I'm sticking with the small version. The umbrella looks pretty sturdy, certainly for the price you can't complain. You probably still need your waterproofs though, if you don't want to get wet. It's compact size means that your legs are not covered by the umbrella. All in all, I think the umbrella is great. It makes hot, relatively still summer days quite pleasant, or more pleasant. Of course, you still have to apply your sun protection because you're still exposed to the sun. Your legs certainly are because the umbrella is not so big. If it were any bigger, you'd probably spend all day sailing around the lake. One more tip, if you do get one of these, cut off the little strap where it will be in your face and just get on your nerves. <laughs>